Okay, to answer the question, we first need to determine the manufacturing or production cost per unit. If you look from the question, you are being given the information that the actual production is 20,000 units and the direct material cost is 164,000, meaning that 164,000 ringgit is to produce 20,000 units. The same goes for your direct labor, 110,000 to produce 20,000 units, variable overhead, fixed production overhead, and so on. So from here, you need to work out the cost per unit. So, if the total material cost is 164,000 is being spent to, uh, to produce 20,000 units, so per unit will be 164,000 divided by 20,000 units. So, that will give you 8 ringgit and 20 cent per unit for the direct material cost. Next, you work out for the direct labor that is 110,000 divided by your 20,000 units gives you 5 ringgit and 50. Next, you work out for the variable cost, variable production cost or variable production overhead. That is 11,000 divided by your 20,000 units. For the fixed overhead or fixed production overhead, there is, you don't need to calculate under the marginal costing. Okay? Because as we mentioned earlier, Marginal costing only considers the variable cost. Okay, so this one, it, the cost for the fixed uh, production of it is one ringgit under the absorption costing. So you've got a total of fourteen ringgit and twenty-five cent for marginal costing and fifteen point two five ringgit per unit. The total manufacturing cost for the absorption costing. The question here: How do you determine the one ringgit. How do you determine this figure? So to answer that, it is already being given in the question. As been as being mentioned in the question, fixed production of it is absorbed at one ringgit per unit. Here, the fixed production of it is absorbed at one ringgit per unit. Alternatively, if the question is silent, you can also work it out. So. How to work it out? Given in the question, the normal production capacity of the company is 22,000 units. And we know that the fixed production of it is absorbed based on the normal production capacity. Unless otherwise it's been mentioned in the question.